Good morning all. Today we are going to look on a very beautiful topic of communication that is modulation. So what is this modulation? Modulation is a process of varying the one or two parameters of the carrier wave with respect to the modulated signals. That is a message signal. We just see the types of modulation and we just uh, look into it what may be its overview. Modulation. The modulation can be divided into two different perspectives. One is analog modulation, another one is digital modulation. First we see this, what is this analog modulation and its types. Analog modulation will be having first one AM that is amplitude modulation and we can go with second one angle modulation first we see what are the types of amplitude modulation amplitude modulations will be having dsb waves next ssb next vsb and so on what is this about dsp this is double sided band waves this double sided band and again divided into two types that is dsb suppress carrier dsp rc second one is side single side band waves single side band waves and this is vestigial side band waves how about the angle modulations with respect to angle modulation it is again divided into fm that is frequency modulation then is pm transpositional modulation transpositional modulation these are the types of analog modulation with respect to it the second one is digital modulation when come for digital modulations it can be divided into first one ASK second one is FSK and the third one is PSK ASK stands for amplitude shift keying FSK stands for frequency shift keying and PSK stands for phase shift keying then let me see let, let me see the types of PSK you will be having DPSK and QPSK okay what is this DPSK DPSK stands for differential phase shift keying and QPSK stands for quadrature phase shift keying these are all the things we are going to see in this particular lab in this importantly we are going to learn about ASK FSK and PSK by using hardware components and these two DPSK and QPSK are done by using simulators we are going to use MATLAB Simlink that is the block processing method we are going to use it and we are going to generate it this is just an introduction for the modulation and its types. Amplitude shift keying. To do this experiment, we need to. The first one is we should have a carrier signal, and the second one is message signal or some random signals or ran sorry not random signals it's a random number generators which is called in terms of binary bits okay we just draw the diagram now let me draw first the message signal let the binary sequence be of 1 0 1 1 0 1 
consider this as my binary sequence. Sequence. Let me draw a diagram for that. High, low, high, again, it is high, low, high. Okay, this is the, the message signals. So, the next one is, we are going to draw the carrier signal. Okay, then we are going to get the amplitude modulated signal. Where and all the message bit is high, we are going to get the signal having the complete amplitude. We can take as 0 plus v minus v. Okay, that is 0 to high or 0 to low. You can just check out here plus V that is you are going to have a complete amplitude where and all you are going to have a message bit of 1. You are going to have a 0 or the reduced in the amplitude when we are going to have a 0 as my message bits. So we just draw the diagram. Where and all I will be having a message bit 1, you are going to have the complete amplitude. Okay, then a little bit lower or we can consider for an ideal case it should be 0. Then then this is my, this is my ASK modulated signal. This is just a concept of uh, ASK modulated signal. The experimental setup and its uh, related things will be done in the lab using the kits and discrete components. Okay, as we discussed theory in the class, uh, now we are going to realize that in using the hardwares. Okay, this experiment can be done in two types, one by using the kit or by using the discrete components. If you want to use the discrete components, uh, make sure that you have CD4051 IC and you need to work on it. Uh, so what are the things we do have in this kit, we just look at it. Um, this is a 9 pin DB power supply, okay, that will be provided to the kit, where exactly you will be having three different perceptions here. One is uh, you should have a signal generator for to have a carrier waves and the second for the message signal that is if you want to have a data that is varying the sequence binary sequence uh, we can make use of this slot and we can vary it. Then this becomes the modular part where exactly we are going to use 4051 IC and we are going to work it out. So now we look into it to the connections of it. First what we need to do is uh, connect the patch cords to the carrier wave and check out uh, whether carrier wave is present or not. Uh, switch on the power supply, connect it to the and the other end to the ground. So you can observe there that the square wave is generated. Okay, that becomes one of the input to the modulator signal modulator block. Next, what we need to do is we need to go with the data that is binary sequences. After connecting the carrier wave, now we look at the data inputs that is binary sequences. You can observe there the binary sequences. So what we do now is uh, we just Okay. 
so binary sequences of we change the binary bits and we just check it out so so what we do now is we make 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 we we just look at the screen now now you can observe the bits are going to be changed so we can give the binary different binary sequences and we can observe the ESK waveform so the next part is connect the carrier to the input of the modulator then one more to data in so then we observe the output here while using the discrete components uh, make sure that you guys are going to use CD4051 IC that is the multiplexers and demultiplexer IC you can make it all so switch on the channel 2 now now you can observe now you can observe where and all the data is high that is one you're going to have the full amplitude of the carrier wave where and all you're going to be data signal will be equals to zero okay you will not be having any signals at that particular time okay this is the jump demonstration of ASK modulated wave okay next what we do is we go for the demodulation demodulated wave and we're going to check it so we just remove the data now data slot is removed and that to be connected to the input from modulator to demodulator okay now you can observe the yellow color wave is of the modulated signal and the above one is the the data one you can observe just uh, there is a shift in the waves there okay we just check out the data in now okay we'll connect for data in and we just look it and look into it okay so just look there these are all the things with respect to okay So you can find the error. Okay, that is a little bit lag in the signal. Okay, you can observe that. A little bit lag is present. Okay. This is how we are going to do the modulation of ASK. Modulation.